day number 25 of our Travel Trader series and today I want to talk a little bit about something basic. You have been hearing me over the last few days and weeks talking about trading an index up and down. And we started with an account where we had like 20,000 euro in it and we were trading it up and down. We were having different trades, the long-term trades, like the swing trades and some short-term trades where we went in within the day and uh, got out at the same day. So uh, these are different types of trades. However, as you realize by now, on average, we are making something between, uh, let's say, uh, we had a negative day with minus 300, we had great days with plus 5,000. So we're making several hundred euro now per day or per trading day, which is very, very good, given that we only apply maximum 20,000, most of the time only 10,000 euro. So very, very rewarding. Now I want to explain to you what I do or what the basic is behind something that we call an index. Very, very um, low key at the moment, but we want to build up and we want to give everyone a chance that never heard about anything like that to catch up and then we go from one level to the next and the next and the next until everyone gets to a stage where they can make a lot of money. So if you think about something that is called an index, we are talking about something uh, backed together. For example, let's say we look at the United States of America, uh, biggest stock market in the world, and then we look at uh, something that we could either call the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which would be the 30 biggest stocks in the United States, or the S&P 500, which is the 500 biggest stocks in the United States uh, that are publicly traded, or we could have a look at the Russell 1000 or 2000, um, the, the smaller and uh, mid-sized stocks. And uh, it works pretty much the same. We have like a basket and in that basket we have all our different stocks, however many they are. So we have stock A, B, C, D, E and so on. However many stocks we have here. And this basket is called an index. Now, on a very basic level, if you think about, we have stock A until uh, I, and if that goes up, let's say uh, 10 points, uh, next one goes down three points, uh, goes up five, goes up eight, goes down two, then we have the sum down here, however many points these are. So plus 10 minus three is seven, uh, plus 5 is 12, 20, 18, so our index would be up 18 points here. So that basket in combination will have a change according to these stocks. Very, very basic level. And this is what we are trading during the day. Now, to make things a little bit more complicated, just a little bit, we have two variants. We have let's say a cash price, which is we buy the index, so all these stocks with the current value, and we want the delivery right now, we want to own them right now. And then we have another instrument, which is called the future. So basically we are buying the index right now with a delivery, with a delivery on a future date. For example, right now, uh, if you would have a look at uh, index futures, most of them are due to March uh, 20 and then we will have a new one three months later then we have a new one three months later we will have a new one three months later so these are the future prices and these are the cash prices and cash uh, most of the time means delivery within 48 hours if you look at commodities or forex for example so that would be immediate um, in reality, we don't need to care too much. We have people that love future trading. We have people that just look at cash indices. Um, I don't really mind. It's just a little bit different in the numbers, of course, because if I buy something and I get delivered it uh, at a later stage, most of the time I can buy some, some of these things at a discount. Well, if I want to have it right now, it's a little bit more expensive. Otherwise, most of the time they behave very, very similar. Now. What's important here is just to know uh, that we can use one thing 
and it simplifies trading a lot. Imagine if you want to buy the 500 biggest stocks in the United States and you want to get that index called S&P. If you wouldn't have an index or later on synthetic uh, products based on that index, you would have to buy 500 single shares uh, to make up that basket and to have all these things in there. And then uh, depending on uh, what goes up and what goes down, you would have the same results and then you would have to sell 500 stocks. So it's a lot of work while buying an index. It's just one buy and one sale and you have done exactly the same thing. So for us, it make, makes things easier. And these are the things that I love to uh, do in day trading. So the ultra short term, we go in, um, buy something or sell something and then we buy it back or we uh, sell it again with a profit. This is one of our tools that we use in Tripping. So. Thank you very much for listening if you have any questions about it and yes i know reality is a bit more complicated but for basic understanding if you all know what an index is how it works we can take it from there and then we will build up step by step so we enable you to get the understanding and to do exactly the same things and uh, this is one of our building blocks if you already knew it that's great maybe you learned something if you have any questions or need any clarification or want to ask anything please let me know in the comments otherwise we will see you again tomorrow with another video closely related to that and uh, we will build your stock market knowledge up until you reach a really high level and uh, we can speak the same language you will understand what i mean you will exactly understand what i do how i do it and how you can make money in the stock market as well as your wish Thank you very much for watching today and I see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.